If you're like me and you like challenging projects and you're thinking about doing your own solar and putting a solar array on a ground mounted racking system, then I put this informational video together. My brother and I came up with a few things that might be helpful and especially we assembled the whole racking or actually the piping and uh, the post all assembled uh, before we poured the concrete. And how we did that is we built this platform that was level and uh, we worked off of that even though we had an uneven surface uh, to, to work with. I uh, didn't want to pull the tractor out and, and level it all out. So I hope this is helpful. I didn't include everything. There's a lot of videos out there that can uh, that talk about other things. But this is some of the things that we learn and then I hope it's helpful for you. Maybe you live on property that has a slope or is uneven surface. So we came up with an idea to put these posts and the cross posts together and put them in the right height and level and square and plumb. This is the actual wood structure uh, that is completely level. And that way we could measure off of it and get the height of our post. Also, it holds the post erect, which is kind of a unique thing because those brackets, which we borrowed from the racking system, you'll see the U-bolts, we can adjust the height. And yet there's so much post in the hole that they actually counterbalance themselves and stand erect. We didn't need any outrigging two by fours to hold the rack in place or hold it up. see these two by fours hold the pipes right over the holes and we could adjust each one. We put an extra inch and a half post in so I could build this rack for my inverter. You might just put your electrical junction box there and also put a water line out to the uh, uh, array to actually wash it off and that went in the ditch and sometimes you have to think of some of the challenging obstacles that you'll have to get through to get to your meter and I went underneath my house all the way to the other side and it came out here at the meter you'll notice all the warning stickers that's a California requirement and there's quite a few of them. Also, that's the AC disconnect. I thought I'd mention that I used a cement mixer instead of having a cement truck come in, just because it saved me some money in pouring two yards. And here are the railings that hold the actual solar panels in place. You have to figure out the spacing for your panels. They vary. That way you can get all your bolt fasteners uh, lined up and even and straight. This is the actual inverter. And you'll notice all the wiring underneath. One thing you will need is a lot of zip ties to hold all this in place and make it look nice. Well, that's all I have for you. Um, I hope that it, it did help. If you uh, have a comment or two, that would be appreciated and give me a thumbs up. If you put a thumbs down, please tell me why you did and uh, maybe we both can learn from it. And thanks.